So we finally got an update on Asia Broadband AABB after almost two months of no updates, nothing, just silent from the company. They come out and they say, we are pleased to announce that we are still working on our crypto exchange. Uh, AABB management and the development team are thrilled to re recently progress the exchange project and anticipate with the forthcoming launch. And many new features may have been added to the exchange development to expand functionality, usability, and market penetration, including web version. Spanish version, uh, a new exchange website. Additionally, the continued development subs subsequently to the exchange launch is planned to allow for the impending temptation of various modules for brokers. Sounds exciting. I'm not gonna read the rest because I sound like an idiot reading. Anyways, uh, yeah, I mean, it's good. Uh. Finally an update, I don't really have too much to say, I mean, the stock didn't really respond positively today, but uh, the, this is exciting, uh, finally I can be able to use the, you know, see what to trade my uh, AABB tokens, swap it around, maybe, you know, trade it back and forth, uh, in the company will be, you know, the company's already did the KYC, uh, you know, but the thing is, like, my only concern is, um, just because the exchange, how do they, like, how, how are they able to get the licenses to operate in different countries, you know, like, be they only a license, because, like, Voyager can't just ex go into Europe without, the proper licenses. So is the company just so Voyager's a broker? This is not a broker, this is an, an exchange. So it's different. I mean did <clears throat> did Binance or Coinbase get the applications to go into Europe and Canada or they just went into Europe and Canada without document stuff? I don't know at the end of the day, so but exciting I'm, like am i you know did they just get into canada because i'm in canada and my can i trade the cryptos in canada without you know do they need approval from the canadian government to be an exchange in canada i don't understand this but hey whatever this is what it is uh i'm happy the uh uh, AABB get the exchange out. I'm hoping you're able to use it. But uh, just a little concern on that side. And so, yeah, AABB just kind of not really doing much today. Uh, sideways action. Thought the news would be like a little bit more stock moving, but it's not. It's just kind of flat. So, yeah. Not too much to say about that. Voyager is uh, also had a little pump in the morning. Pull back. I was just kind of getting flat. And then the VGX token, it looks like it's on sale right now. Like, damn. Down to $2 and it went all the way down to like two seventy, And then now it's just like floating sideways. Not too much to say about that. Coinbase under attack by the SEC, uh, but the stock is not really responding negatively, just kind of like floating sideways. Oh, so, yeah. Um, that's the way the market works. Uh, GameStop was, uh, you know, had a crash this morning. Uh, you know, Wall Street bets or whoever's pumping the stock is like, oh, let's pump the stock to the moon. So I don't know. It is what it is. Um, but uh, GameStop could just not crash and that smaller correction. 
And now it's going back to his 50, uh, maybe going back to $300. Who knows at the end of the day. Uh, AMC also did, uh, not really hit, getting hit negatively this morning. Up 79 cents. Lordstown, up 12 cents. 1.94%. And end of September is coming, guys. Who knows, whatever. If they announce, uh, start of EV production. Uh, don't know that news could send the stock running for you know five to ten percent or maybe higher. Who knows? But we'll see. A uh, big Finkel Ventures BBIG up ninety six cents nine point one percent. Support dot com also up eighty five cents three point six seven percent. Not too much to say about that. Anyways, uh, I don't have too much to say in today's video. The overall market is a little red today. So, and right now I'm recording at 12.41 p.m. So, what that happens, Biden is set to tighten vaccine mandate, man, mandate for federal workers at as U.S. averages 300 COVID deaths a day. Okay. Anyways, uh, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to sub and like and, or dislike or whatever you want to do. Oh my god. I got like one minute left to go. I don't know. What, I guess I can just talk about MJ Stocks. Hi Tide. What is Hi Tide doing today? Hi Tide. Yeah, trading sideways. Looks like the little pump is uh over and done with. And no, it's just kind of like flat. It went up like five percent, and then just kind of trading sideways. It has a golden cross, so it is bullish, but uh, doesn't seem like anyone wants to push the stock price higher. Uh, ECB is uh, down a penny. Sundial is uh, not just flat. Um, yeah, well, well, let's look at Canopy. Canopy, wow, fifteen dollars and eight cents. Yeah, well, anyways, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and sub and do whatever you want to do. And have a great day. Bye.